<clears throat> hey, what's up guys? Staff Sergeant Duncan here. I'm a recruiter with the National Guard. Uh, I am beginning similar questions over and over lately. One of the questions is continues to be about the conditional release process. Uh, can I join the National Guard? Uh, can I join the National Guard and switch over to active duty? Most of the time people are asking about active duty army, but uh, in this case, somebody asked how easy it is it is it to go from active duty, or sorry, to go from the National Guard part-time to active duty Navy full-time. So before I answer that question, if you could please do me a big favor, subscribe to this channel, uh, go watch my food reviews, go watch my other videos, go watch my other army videos, that would help me a ton. Make a comment in the section with any questions that you have. Follow me on Instagram at Paul Duncan Jr. P-A-U-L-D-U-N-C-A-N-J-R. Uh, okay, to answer your question, can I go from the National Guard to the Navy? So the answer to that question is basically the exact same answer as if you were to join active duty, wanted to join active duty Army, active duty Navy, active duty uh, Marine Corps, it doesn't matter. It's the same process. Basically, the first thing that you would do if you're in the National Guard and you want to go from part-time with the National Guard to full-time with the active duty, uh, the first thing you have to do is contact uh, whatever branch recruiter. So in this case, we're talking about the Navy. You would have to go to a Navy recruiter. He's going to give you a request for conditional release. Uh, and then that request for conditional release has to be taken to your unit with the National Guard's chain of command. And from there, you would have to run it up through the chain of command. So you would probably start with your readiness person, your readiness NCO, uh, and then he would move it up that chain of command and eventually would have to get uh, signed by the commander. And once it's signed by the commander, you are authorized to go into the active duty Navy or Air Force or Marines or the Army or whatever it is that you want to do. Uh, at that point, you would work with that recruiter from that branch and you would just go through the normal prior service um, enlistment process. And uh, from there, it would be basically you just working with that Navy recruiter or that active duty recruiter or whatever the case may be. Um, so yeah. It is possible to do it. It is a process, but you can do it. And um, yeah, if you have any questions about that, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. Again, it would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe to this channel, hit the like button, make any comments with any other questions you have about joining the military in the comments section. Um, I think that's it. Hopefully that answered your question and I will see you next time. Bye.